Maybe this isn't such a good idea, guys. I mean, Dylan had to go home and he was okay, a witness, so I'm maybe... I'm a witness. Dylan will back me up and we'll get this wacko off the street. If you don't want to file a report, don't. Nobody's forcing you into anything. No, I want to. Because if I don't come forward, then it'll be your word against the gay basher and I want to make sure this guy doesn't... Hey, you guys, you are the witnesses? You and Lulu? Uh, I saw what happened to Guy. And, uh, I'm ready to make a statement against the gay basher, too, for, for what he did to me. Well, that's even better. We brought him in and charged him for disturbing the peace with statements with you and Guy. Frank Rush could go away for years. Great. You'll get your chance to confront him face to face. Mac, uh, Lucas and the other victim are to make their statement about the hate crime suspect, Frank Rush. So your patience with Lucas paid off. Looks that way. Nice work. Hey, speaking of work, you know, would it be possible if I could pick up a few extra shifts? Elizabeth, she had to work straight through the epidemic, and she wants to spend more time with Cameron. So I'm kind of need to pick up the slack. Sure, you're doing a good job. I'll uh, give you all the work you can handle. Thanks. You already took him on in a bar. You went after him at Kelly's. Making a statement here while you're surrounded by cops should be easy. If you're not ready to confront him face to face, tell the cops you want to make a private statement. It'll still count. I can face him. Be sure. Because if you lose it in your statement, it would be better if I had just my word against Frank's. Look, I may not be a poster child for gay rights, like you, but I can make a statement without messing it up. Why don't you cut him some slack? I'm more interested in keeping Frank in jail than protecting Lucas's feelings. Well, don't make it one or the other, okay? Have a little faith in Lucas. He can do this. I had a couple of beers. I got into a minor altercation, okay? It was nothing. I don't want trouble with anybody. I've got a couple people here that might think otherwise. Is that right? Commissioner, ready to go. I let you get by with a cheap shot to my jaw, so we're even. I don't think so. Look, you don't want to do this, because I will hunt you down no matter how long it takes. What I did to you before is nothing. You will beg me to put you out of your misery, okay? So don't try and be a hero, you pansy. Hey, did you just say something? Get up. Hey, did he threaten you? Let's, uh, let's just get this over with. Are you ready to make a statement? You were assaulted, is that correct? Do you know who did it? That's the guy who attacked me. We met at Jake's. Frank kept looking at me, so I looked back. He asked me out for a pizza, and, uh... Uh, it was also new to me. You know, I'd, I'd never picked up on or met someone in a bar before. Yeah, right. Anyway, he said he'd drive, and we never made it to the pizza place. We ended up in the park. He wanted to go to the park. I knew I was in trouble, and the next thing I knew, he hit me with a lead pipe and started calling me faggot and queer. <laughs> that's, whoa, whoa, that's a whoa. lie. Um... I hit the ground, and I tried to get away, but he just kept kicking me. He's making this all up. All right, he hit on me in some dive bar, and I basically told him to get lost. He's still mad about it. That's what this whole thing is about. You just threatened me a few minutes ago. Said that if I testified against you, you would come after me again. Make me beg to be put out of my misery. That is total garbage. No, you're garbage. Like, it is his word against mine. Actually, it's our word against yours. The same thing that happened to Lucas happened to me, except we started out at the Metro Court and ended up at Kelly's. You punched me in the stomach and then hit me in the head with a bottle. <laughs> they're making this up. No, they're Are not. You... I was there. So was I. We got two eyewitnesses and all the stories match. That's good enough for me. Book them. No problem. Come on, Frankie. What? Come on. Hey, all right, I want my lawyer. I'm so proud of you. We did it. Am I supposed to thank you? You should have done this a long time ago. I didn't handle this perfectly, but I did make a statement, and I think that should count for something. If you had made a statement against Frank the night he attacked you, he might not have come after me. I wasn't ready. He could have killed someone. For all we know, he has. You know, I'm not proud of the fact that I waited for so long. 
but I was afraid to come out to my parents. And I didn't want my mom to find out I was gay because I was targeted for a hate crime. Oh, so you let a gay basher go free? No. I fought back. And I ended up being arrested and coming out to my mom and everyone else in this very squad room. Well, that doesn't sound too pleasant. No, it, it wasn't. No, and it, it's still not. But maybe that would have been easier if I had known someone like you. Well, now you know me. Listen, I, I gotta get out of here. Do you want to get some coffee or something? Maybe sometime. When you figure out who you are.